Hey YouTube, this is Think Museums and today I'm taking you on a journey to my little slice of heaven, Maseno. You might be thinking, where the heck is Maseno? Well, Maseno town is located in Kisumu city, which is the third largest city in Kenya on the shores of Lake Victoria. Picture this, a picturesque village nestled in the heart of Africa, surrounded by breathtaking landscapes and filled with extraordinary people. That's Maseno for you. And let me tell you, this place is special. It's the center of the world. Lots and lots of bananas. I hear some wonderful things. Now you might be wondering why I keep saying Maseno is the center of the world. Well, here's a tea, or chai as we call it here in Kenya. It's not just a random claim. It turns out that this village is located right on the equator. I'm standing at the southern hemisphere now. Okay. So you're going to go to the... And now other. All right, we're gonna have an experiment here at the equator in a town called Maseno in Kenya. And we're gonna do an experiment. Oh yes. Yeah. What happens when you are at the equator? So this is between the southern and northern hemisphere. Give us an explanation. What are you, what are you gonna be doing? So we're going to do an experiment here. Yeah. It's called the Coriolis experiment. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. As you said, that's the equator like the center of the world, yeah? yeah. Now this is in the northern hemisphere. Okay. At the experiment, the Coriolis effect, we're going to see how water behaves in the northern hemisphere yeah. and in the southern hemisphere okay. and in the middle. We're going to okay. between three parts, okay. north, south and, and east. And, 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 All right? and, uh, so let's start with the north and see what happens. Yeah? Okay. So, so what you do, uh, we'll down the chain, yeah? Now, if you take this, do you like to press it? Okay. Just drop it in the middle. And it's spinning this way in Clock the northern hemisphere, clockwise. Okay. Now remember, only 13 countries in the world lie in the equator line. Okay. And of those 13, seven are in Africa. Okay. Kenya, Uganda, mm. uh, Somalia, Gabon, mm. DRC, mm. Sao Tome, and Pacific. Okay. Then we have three in South America. Mm. Ecuador, Brazil, and Colombia. Mm. Now, the Equator line was first discovered and mapped in Ecuador. Mm -hmm. That's how the name Ecuator mm -hmm. came to be. Mm -hmm. okay? So, you're going to try the same demonstration across the line. You'll okay. see if there's a difference. Mm -hmm. okay? So, you've taken note of the direction of this, right? right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we cross over? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, well, you're on the south, not the, not on the, the northern. So, we're going to head to clockwise. South. clockwise. Okay. So, we're going to go to the. And this is the line here. That's the Okay. And this is the equator. We on the southern hemisphere. Same demonstration. Okay, so now we're on the southern hemisphere. Okay. Electricity. Okay. Clockwise in the southern hemisphere, and it's clockwise in the northern hemisphere. Okay. Clockwise in the northern hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Many cultural countries want to experience the four seasons. Yeah. The time, summer, winter, spring. Uh -huh. It's just way too dry. Good and dry. All year long. Yeah. And the nights are same length as the day. Yeah. What? It's yeah. Some parts of the world. Non-equatorial countries is a past. At times the days are longer, at yeah. times the nights are longer. So we, so we here in Maseno, we experience 12 hours. Each, all equatorial countries, the yeah. 13 of them in the whole world. 12 hours. 12 hours, daytime, 12 hours, night. So now we're going to do it now one last time in the middle. Okay. okay. So it's, it's a blessing being in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Not so many people can say they're the center of the world, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the margin of error. The place is a bit slanted, but we need a level. Ground. Okay, level. But ground. this okay. margin of error is allowed. So okay. let's consider the Okay. Now the red 
directly on the equator. Yeah. Looks like tug of war, the north and the south. Oh, they're pulling, 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 pulling oh, side. Okay. So that's why it's not very clear compared to the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You see now? It's safe. Well, oh, so can I see it? And not an end here. This side is like a place called the center. That's the straight line. Yeah. Hi. It's your southern hemisphere neighbor. Oh. You're on the northern side. They have all on both of them. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> You're standing on the both hemispheres. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's cool. Can you take a photo? Yeah, let's take pictures yeah. together. Yeah, come. Okay. Alright guys, so we're here in Matsuno. Here I am all. One go cup. That side is the northern hemisphere. Southern hemisphere. And it's a big sign. Oh they didn't have this yet. Yeah. Yay! Oh, both of us. Oh, they didn't have this. The results. This is completely new. Yeah. Oh, this Give me Dwara Dwara Ninoang 